Finally, I want to talk about the um, left main coronary artery and the uh, LAD and the circumflex artery. So left main coronary artery, as I talked about uh, before, is a very short vessel. We don't see it here, actually, but um, it very rapidly uh, bifurcates into the left anterior descending coronary artery, or the LAD, and the uh, circumflex artery, which uh, travels along AV sulcus on the left-hand side. So let's look at these two vessels in particular. So the left anterior descending coronary artery, the, that's the finger pointing at it here, that's the one that travels along here. Um, it supplies blood to the anteroseptal left ventricle, the septal referring to the intraventricular septum that divides the right ventricle from the left ventricle, so that center part in the anterior surface of the left ventricle. And occlusion of the LAD results in an, in an anterior wall MI or an anteroseptal wall MI. And uh, that would just depend on how proximal the occlusion is. The circumflex artery, as I mentioned, uh, travels along the atrioventricular sulcus between the left atrium and the left the left ventricle, and it supplies uh, blood to the lateral left ventricle. And the little caveat here, you, you recall from uh, the slide presentation before this that uh, I indicated that the right coronary artery supplies the inferior wall of the left ventricle in uh, most humans, but in a small percentage of the population, the circumflex uh, artery supplies the inferior wall of the left ventricle. And so when, uh, when patients are left dominant, or said to be left dominant, meaning the circumflex um, feeds the inferior wall MI, what you'll see on the electrocardiogram is an inferior lateral wall MI, again, because the inferior wall is fed by the circumflex, and obviously so too is the uh, lateral left ventricle. So um, we'll see that in a small percentage of the population. So in summary then, from... Um, uh, taking off from the last couple of presentations, typically in about you know anywhere from 90 to 80 to 90 percent of the population, the patient includes of the right coronary artery or the RCA, they'll have an inferior wall MI. If they occlude the LAD, they'll have an anterior wall MI or an anterior lateral wall MI. And if they occlude the circumflex, they'll have a lateral wall MI. And then that one sort of final caveat, if the patient happens to be left dominant, in other words, if the circumflex feeds the inferior wall, uh, then if they occlude the circumflex, they'll have an inferior lateral wall MI. But these are the three main ones that we typically see on patients. RCA occlusions with inferior wall MIs, LED occlusions with anterior or anterior septal wall MIs, and lateral wall MIs associated with occlusion of the circumflex artery.